so guys um welcome back today we're doing the lips um we're starting from the the last one we did the nose if you guys didn't didn't watch this you can check the description below and you can watch that before you watch this it's just how i sculpted this nose but this time we're going to sculpt the lips so uh, let's get started so before we go because um we increased the resolution quite a bit and it's like 1.9 million so we have to reduce this down and we don't want to use dynamesh remember we are using tens uh tensilate tessellate yeah i think that's what's called i don't know right it is yeah tessimate rather then we're using tessimate and you can find it here under geometry and all so um we have to reduce this so we'll just increase this to let's see uh 300 is good uh, uh, uh i think 400 is 44 is so much and the cool thing about this you can just go back and forth because it's like it caches you know wherever you are let's make 200 right okay i think this is fair so yeah this is fair so now before we start okay what tool should we use to like start um sculpting the lips so uh you can i use um geo soft brush by pablo monos gomez and so because i don't you guys might not have this it's actually a free brush it's an amazing brush it's very sharp you should use damn standard and just um click on your damn standard i'll just just pinch the face with the dam standard make sure your brush is big and you just draw like a line just draw a line yet like this and we can it's actually like kind of like a lips already so next thing you do you maybe just reduce your brush and and make the lips like an arc shape here okay now take our mask I have this mask lasso turned on and, and yeah so now i want to push this upper lips out so we don't affect our nose i'm just going to mask this and mask from there make it a bit softer yeah and we're just gonna take a move tool and just push this out a bit and and yes. I'm shaping it, just get that shape. It should look like it's biting his lower lips. And uh, yeah, so next thing we can do is just take a move to just move this part in a bit. Yeah, something like that. Nice and easy. And smooth the other. So already this looks nice so let's mask this again so let's like let's add some little detail i don't know what this these terms are called so bear with me i can't just start naming stuff for you guys so i'm not that i'm not that savvy with anatomy so i'm just trying to create the And I'm just using the move tool here yeah, just to create the shape. Nothing fancy. Okay. And let's let's go to the lower lips. So for the lower lips, you just take like your clay builder brush and just, just start sculpting. Just pull out this. You know. Then you like also like if you have like your reference, which you should, I'm always using my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so if you have your reference, you should just like, you know, do something like this, form this kind of this kind of shape. I'm not really doing anything fancy. I'm just moving my brush on top of the surface just to transform the lips. Yeah, and I think that's it. And just smooth it out a bit. already i think we are good so we can take like the damn standard and just oops damn standard and just try and like get the shape of the chain out and, and maybe 
pages. Sorry. And just transform the chain. And take a move brush and just try and get the shape. This is like fat in the, in the lip area and everything here, I think everything here, let me see. Everything here is part of the lips. Everything here to me it's part of the lips. I know they all have terms and stuff. I don't I don't know them. I don't know their names though. But I just say you say that's lips. So if you're making something like an African lip or something like that, you probably make this bigger. We Africans we have like big lips, big lower lips. So you make this. Okay. Now we can just like take um the dam standard again and just come here take the brush down make sure you are on a lower intensity and just just drag and transform the line for your lips so then you can now mask oops to lasso and Use your move brush to just try and get the shape of the lips. And that's pretty much it. You got you got beautiful lips right here, guys. So you can mask this. And the upper lips is always coming out more than the lower lips, especially for Caucasians. But generally you, you want the upper lips to be coming out like protruding outward or extruded outward if that makes sense and the other part is just to refine the shape because basically you got the foundation down here so you can just like refine the shape then you can increase subdivision just like reducing the poly size and so we have like 700 which is pretty much from 100 so i just and something like 300 or so oops it's really sensitive why is it going so much like that oh okay because i'm already there and uh, let's take it down a bit yeah, yeah 400 is good and this is the cool thing about the test mate just it just works bro. so i advise you guys to try it it's not a really popular tool in zbrush so so you can just start adjusting it and uh, i'm just going to use my jewelry brush because it's really sharp yeah take the move brush and just pull this down you can pull this up if you want to like refine this but we're doing something stylized here so if we're doing real realistic then we will start adding so much detail so we have this then we have the foundation to actually start creating this dimple here i'm just using my um you can use the dumps now but i'm using the the george soft brush should just let's create the crease here so, so we have the fat on this aspect of the face which is really important to get the the shape of the lips so pretty much it guys this is how i sculpt lips some of the time there are other methods i use depending on what i'm looking for like if i'm looking for more control if I'm looking for more control, I would use a different method, but yeah. So let's just, let's add more details. Let's just, yeah, add, add this. Add this. And you can use this. And yeah. This. Then we can add more subdivision to this. Uh, we have 700, which is nice. 
Let's bring it to a million. Two million. Fine, fine by me. So you have to be careful with those values. So I'm trying to rush because I'm I'm out of time. It's nine minutes already, which is slow. I wish there was more time for me to you guys to show you guys some other technique of sculpting lips. If you guys want more, I can make more. I have to, you know. Yeah, there are other ways to like maybe make it very, um, very controlled. So like, just in case, because with this, you can actually open the mouth because it's all closed and you can't really adjust the expression that much. Like maybe you want to open the mouth so they can do something. You can't really do that with this. There are other methods to do that. Uh, but I have no time. I want to jump into making the eyes and the rest. But if you want that aspect, I can actually make that one. But uh, it's already 11 minutes. So and um, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys on the next video, which is going to be the eyes. And um, peace. Bye.